Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own wing view or any custom camera views you like to create right here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and it's not very difficult and we can do inside views and outside views. But first, let's start from the beginning. So this is actually really easy. There's only a few steps and a few key bindings that you need to know and have bound. Everything we're doing is going to be in the controls menu right up at the top here. I'm going to click on controls. That's going to drop down and we'll be using our keyboard today. And once you click on keyboard, you should see keyboard preset config. And these are all the default key bindings. I'm going to scroll down our categories down to camera. And everything we're doing today is going to be here under cockpit camera. We'll click on that drop down. We'll scroll down. And basically what we need is a way to move the camera around freely around the cockpit, around the cabin, and even around the exterior of the aircraft for custom camera views. And that is already mapped by default. And that's going to be shift WASD to move around and then shift E and Q to go up and down. So that's called decrease cockpit view height, increase translate cockpit view backwards, forward, translate cockpit, view left, and view right. And again, that is the shift WASD key. Now, if you want to change that, you definitely can do so. So for example, I don't really like the fact that I have to hold shift. So I'm gonna click on this one here and I'm just gonna hit the Q key. And it's gonna ask me to create a new profile. So I'll just name my config custom ham video. So now that we've made our own config file, we can now see we can make as many changes as we want without affecting the default commands. I'm just going to go through here and just basically cut out the shift on all these. I'm going to click here, hit E, click here, hit S, W, A, and D. And before we X out of here, we need a way to be able to save our custom camera views and recall them or reload them. And that's this right here. Load custom camera one. There's actually 10 of them. Zero through nine and they're by default mapped to shift f1 through shift f4 now if i scroll down you can also see the save command for saving cameras which is shift f5 through shift f8 which again i'm not a fan of that i don't like it's, it's confusing to me so you can use those that's fine but i'm going to actually change them all and also i want these cameras on my numpad not my f keys so we'll start with save camera zero and I'm actually gonna, on my keyboard, I'm gonna click in the box, and I'm gonna click on right control and zero on the numpad and let go. And that's gonna make a new key binding. And I'm just gonna go through this entire list with the right control key, hit one, right control, press two, and I'm gonna go all the way down to nine. All right, we're done. And as I said, you can map this to whatever you want. I mean, it could probably be on a stream deck. I don't know. Whatever you want to map to, whatever it's detected, you can use that. You don't have to do what I'm doing here. I right, now want to call these cameras back up on demand, right? And I'm just going to use numpad zero through nine as like my quick keys for those cameras. So I'm going to go up here to load camera zero. And I'm just going to hit the numpad zero. That's it. That's simple. And then one, two, three, and so on. There it is. So all 10 cameras are mapped for saving and loading. And that's really the gist of it. Now all we got to do is back out of the menu here. And I can actually use my WASD keys now. That's what I'm pressing. Just pressing W, A, S, and D. Moving around. Butter smooth. If I hit Q, go down. E, I go up. Now notice how my rudder pedals are also moving when I press that button. And that's because I need to go into my flight controls and actually unmap the rudder for my Q and E key. So beware of that. The same thing goes with your WASD. It's a very important step or else you'll be doing barrel rolls in the sky on accident. So let's set up some views. I'm gonna move the camera back and I'm gonna slide down, we'll look up. And this is a very important view for me when setting up an aircraft code in dark. Just gonna translate it up here until we kind of get where we want it. And then as I said, for saving for me is right control and then whatever numpad I want to be set to. For the overhead, I personally usually use Three. So I'm hit right control and then three on the numpad. You can hit shift space bar to reset your camera. That's another key command that you already have set. You can change that as well. So when I hit the numpad three key on my keyboard, boom, it goes right up to the top view. Okay, I'm going to reset and now we're going to use all that together to create a window seat. So I'm actually going to, again, translate my camera around using the WASD keys that I remapped. We'll kind of stand up a little bit more using the E key and we'll walk back through the cabin and find us a window seat. And I am going to use row 22 seat A and we'll go up to the window and all I'm going to do is hit right control and then whatever 
numpad key I want. In my case, I'm using seven, so right control, numpad seven. That view should now be saved. Reset my camera. I now press numpad seven by itself. And boom, we're back in the window seat. Now, what if your aircraft you're flying doesn't have a cabin or if you can't walk into the back? Now, there's a couple tricks that you can do to get out of the cockpit when you're stuck in the cockpit. The most popular one is just move your camera all the way to the right as far as you can, close to the glass as possible. Go up here to your camera options under cockpit and then go down here so you see pilot, click on pilot and then click on co-pilot. And boom, now we are outside the aircraft and now outside of that cockpit bounding box. But if I hit the WASD keys, I can't really move all too much. What you can do from here is actually save this view into one of your saved view spots. So I'm going to use right control eight to save the eight numpad slot. I'm going to reset my camera. And then if I press eight on the keypad, that then puts me outside and I can now freely move my camera around the exterior view with the key buttons that we set to. So I'm going to create myself a nice little window seat right back here, right ahead of the engine. Now, if you get to a point where you're going forward, you can't go anymore. What you can do is you can actually save your view at that point and then reload it again. So we'll use this one right here for today's example. This is good enough. I'm going to hit the right control eight key again. I'm going to kind of overwrite that last camera I made and then I can reset my camera back to the front, hit the numpad eight key again, where I saved it and boom, I have my custom camera. Now there's one other way you can get out the cockpit if you don't want to use this method. I'm gonna go back to the front and this one is gonna require a track IR or Toby eye tracker, some sort of head tracking. You could probably even do it in VR. And so basically I'm gonna activate my track IR. I'm looking around and what I can do is I can take my headset off or just lean outside <laughs> of the window here. And once I'm leaning outside the window, I can actually hit again, save that camera. I can move back into my normal position. And then when I go to that camera, I'm now outside of the area. So that's a couple tricks of how to get your camera outside. And uh, while we're out here, I'll create one of my personal favorite camera views. And that is what I call the belly camera. I'm just going to translate my camera down here towards the belly. Like some nice landing shots with the landing gear and stuff like that. All right, I like that angle right there. I'm going to go ahead and save that camera, and there it is. We can jump between all these views instantly, just like that. And that is how you create custom camera views in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. I will have a video kind of deep diving into all of the controller configs, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace. Love and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. Bye -bye.